<laughs> for those of you looking through Kaoni's screen, which you will be for the, the 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 journey through our our time together, you can't see that Kaoni has given himself just the worst cornbread <laughs> um, poly polygon uh, afro haircut, and it's I, so awful to look at. I think it's pretty great. It oh, wait, go like, show him. Show him. Show him in the I wardrobe am. so they can see. Is that what you're doing? Oh, yeah. It's such a bummer. It looks like like jelly on my head. I don't know, because honestly, it might not be so bad if you didn't have just like these tufts of hair coming out of the sides that just... Are those your sideburns? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. All right. That's not, not good. So, since the last time we played, I did a little bit of playing on my own to get to the point where I can do assignments. Um, yes. So, I'm working on getting uh, a new weapon, and the first part of that assignment... Is it for your sidearm or for your main, your main squeeze? The main, I think, yeah. Okay. So Do you know, is, does it tempt you with what it is yet? Or is, is it a mystery? Yeah, it's called a M1000 Classic. It looks like a like a bolt-action rifle or something, maybe. Okay, right on. Um, but yeah, we got an egg hunt up first. Does that sound okay to you, yeah. sir? Bring it on. Crystal I'm going to crack gathering. open these. Here, let me, let me, I'll, I'll start with my classic Logan questions that have, that have bear no relevance to anything that's going on. Okay. Tell me this. Are you listening? Hang on, just check, tell me this. Are you a Red Vine man or a Twizzlers man? Are Red Vines the, the shiny ones? Ooh, that's tough. I think, if I understand, yes, Red Vines are the shiny ones. Red. Okay, so uh, maybe this will help you rejog re re your memory. Red Vines, if you bite both ends, actually function as a straw. They're, they're hollow enough that you could breathe through, whereas Twizzlers d are, are not hollow on the inside. Does that, oh, okay. does that help you understand? I'm a Twizzler man, then. Yes. Ah. I'm a red, red vine vines. man, but apparently this makes me like a candy pariah. Like no one fucking likes red vines. They taste chalky. I don't like them. But you're you, you're not much of a candy wizard either. Like you you're you're a healthy guy. Like you eat a lot of <laughs> yeah. quinoa and vegetables. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to remember back when we were hanging out in high school. If you had any of those like those like a little um, you know, guilty pleasures. I mean, honestly. Maybe with the exception of like soda, can't make kind of like you weren't really a sweet toothy guy. No, not really. I need help with this thing. One thing I've realized watching over our previous videos is that a lot of videos, it really just seems like I just disappear out of no like, and I just leave you in the lurch, <laughs> and you're like, dude, I'm I'm like trying to go to work, and I'm yeah. just I'm, I'm gonna that, try to be more at your side today. That's on me too, though, especially on the higher difficulties. No, okay. We're gonna need to stick together. Okay. Um, that's true. You gotta get but... this nitro, man. The egg hunts are the worst because we got to figure out where we're going here. Um, what are you? What's your I sweet? I hope today tooth we for? can. Uh, uh, well, I, I was gonna say used to. I don't know why that would be. A, that would just be a full-on lie. I, I mean, I love most candy. Um, mm. I think, with the exception, although honestly, and I hate to admit it, but even, God damn it, I was just gonna pour some shit in Molly. Um, where are you going? Uh, this even this has kind of changed recently, which is kind of freaking me out because I used to I used to be someone who hates black licorice, and uh -huh. I still am not a huge fan. But I've Ooh. found in the last year or two that like it, you know, speaking of which, if I'm eating like a little bag of jelly beans and I and I happen to reach in and pull out that, you know, oh is it is it Dr Pepper or is it chocolate or is it black licorice? You know, if I eat if I if I get that black licorice one, uh -huh. I'm not as disturbed anymore as I prior as I once was. Right. Anyways. Um, so I love most candy, not preferential to black licorice, but I'm a big, I'm a big advocate of like sour gummy crap. That's uh -huh. kind of my, sour if I were a kids. magic card, I would be something, um, you know, uh, uh, I'm trying to riff, <laughs> riff the title of a magic card. <laughs> I'll, I'll think about that. Oh, by the way, one thing I, I liked from another previous episode, um, viewers you know avid watchers will, will remember my the, the classic episode where i i claim that i will have a val kilmer fact each each <laughs> each uh each like you know series, series that we do yeah. so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to think of a, a val kilmer fa uh, factoid at some point during our recording today as well right on yeah which <laughs> i love i mean i know this is kind of this is not boring this is this, this, no rather it is boring commentary for listeners because i'm just talking about how much i like our own youtube videos but at your edition of uh of Val Kilmer's birth date was uh was fantastic i, I really enjoyed that yeah. i'm glad you liked it yeah that's i don't know this series especially seems like ripe for those kind of moments 
I don't have to worry so much about. Uh... Yeah, there, there's a nice sort of uh, there's a gaiety and a chaos to Deep Rock that definitely supports those kinds of decisions. Yeah, I don't know if I do that with GTFO. But, um... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, GTFO is a bit is a bit. Uh... Oh, what's this? A fossil. Oh, oh we're boy. collecting fossils as well. I've already. Made so is this is this the one? If we do this one, are you gonna be? Are you gonna get a new weapon or no? Uh, no, I've got two more missions after this one to get a okay. M1000. I set it back on uh, level three hazard or whatever, which might have okay. been a mistake. No, no, no! You, you did the right thing. Because ideally, if we can do enough of these, you know, these harder ones, by the time you need the you need the ingredients to like do your upgrades, you'll have a shit ton, and you can just right. make your guns wicked good. Yeah. All right. Where is this? Where is this little cave? We go. It goes uh, sort of down this direction. Oh, we got another egg over here, Mister. Do, wanna... do we? Yeah. Are you a Bob Ross fan? Uh, I don't know. Kinda. He seems like a he seemed like a decent dude. I agree. Happy accidents or whatever. I, in <laughs> fact, speaking of uh, magic cards, they just did like a oh, yeah. limited line of magic cards, kind of done in the Bob Ross style or something. Oh like. no way, man! What a great connection. Good job. I got That's awesome. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea. I got I got to send you those uh, pictures. They're they're pretty good. Yeah, no, that, that's a crazy cool crossover. Are you ready for uh, egg time? Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I got a, I got an email back from the Magic Gathering people. I didn't get that job, so. That sucks. <laughs> Which I wasn't not expecting to get. <laughs> You'd be perfect for that. I don't know, man. I mean, like, so for, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I had applied to, um, and actually I don't know, I can't, they have a, there's actually a, like a parent's name, a parent company name. I think it's called like Wizards of the Coast or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I had applied I, I just somehow miraculously found a job listing on who knows what website and it was for i believe the job this was not what the job title was but i believe the job duties were basically the person who writes the the card descriptions for magic the gathering cards ah, which is like you know sweet. holy shit, what Flavor what could text, be a yeah. fucking cooler job right. uh i have no you know i have no professional experience doing anything like that i merely have a philosophy degree and i think i'm a decent writer and mm -hmm. it's no surprise to me that they did not hire me but if they had if they if i had even gotten an interview i would have shit my pants it would have been crazy that's actually that's weird. You you would seem perfect, like credential wise. Yeah, but you me. you know me and you know my interests. I mean, like I think the problem right now is that on paper my resume says, oh, this guy's made coffee for eight million years, <laughs> and he, and he has a really good GPA. But and those two things, I don't think those two things are uh, like what creative companies are looking for yet. So I think it'll be a while. I mean, honestly, I, and I didn't think of this till just now. I don't know if people can or do put these sorts of projects on resumes or stuff. But I mean. Well, you're doing a hell of a lot more work in these in these videos than I am. I can I can merely say that I was like essentially the Joker to a podcasts and YouTube series is Batman. <laughs> and wow. I don't know that, that and they'll they'll be like I don't understand what I'll this analogy yeah. is saying. Yeah, Dude, you I got with focus. Batman. I'm good with that. We got we got to get uh, we got to we got to get these eggs. No, you had to, all right. Got to reel you in like a honker. Come over here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's one down here. Oh, yeah, there's a nice mound right here. Would you eat this? Um. Uh... Give it some thought. I mean, it's tough, right? Because this, it really is designed, like, when games try to represent, like, materials that are just, like, unequivocally bad to be around, this is pretty much par for the course. Like, it's, it's always, like, red irritated kind of pustuly bullshit so it's yeah. really hard to make this look appetizing what i was trying to do when you asked was i was trying to think is there any food in real life that looks remotely like this that i can say i've eaten and then and also perhaps even enjoyed eating but like i don't think anything something? looks I mean, maybe like pate or you know like, like you know like isn't that like um i think i've had like a goose liver pate which Ooh. it really just looks like this kind of awful kind of beigey deep red brown kind of just like gooky yeah. schmear Right. And that's like pretty good. I don't think I've had it. I mean, that's not like a, a common item I have in my meals. Um, hmm. yeah, like goose, I can't do liver. I, I used no. to do chicken liver a little bit, but that's just it's too much. 
What happened to you? Where's Molly? Oh, what happened here? What happened up there? Oh, I did a weird bounce, ricocheted. Um, do you need ammo yet? Or are you doing right? I certainly do not. If you do, by all means. And we got we got a good deal of nitro. I'm doing okay. Okay. Got one more egg. Ready? Man, we we're like really cruising through this level. Yeah, uh, do it, son. Bring it on back, son. Back. Hey, did you ever watch the Joby video? Do you know what I'm talking about? Does that ring any bells? The what? Yeah, I guess I should probably give more. So there's like a the guy. Dog? It's a video. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know how dogs is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. I would. <laughs> me and all in and, and Hunter and Chris and Wesley and Frank, whatever. Everyone. It was. It was literally a good two years where. Every every silence in the conversation led to a quote from that from that video. <laughs> oh, Joby, no, don't. <laughs> what you doing, dog? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a classic. Did you already put the egg in there? Oh yeah, you did. Man, we really creamed this uh, crop. So you oh. are uh, you are uh, infatuated with that particular class, aren't you? I'm just uh, well. It's I think I, in in a previous episode I made the the reference of like I play this I'm playing this game essentially in the opposite way that I play Smash Brothers, which is Smash Brothers. I've committed to I've played random for literally the last like three games or so. I've played random since I think Melee. I don't know so, how you do that. It's crazy. I don't even remember why I did it either because when no I play I play played random since Brawl because in Melee I still had like the characters that I liked and that I, I thought I was good at, but at some point I don't know what what kind of what spurred me to make that decision but i was just like you know what? i'm just gonna become an all-rounder i'm just gonna play i'm gonna play random for forever and i'm gonna you know, i'm gonna master every conceivable character and it uh -huh. honestly kind of panned out i don't really play that game anymore because i don't i don't like playing it online and obviously during covid and whatever that's you can't play with people right. Um, right i'm just gonna get in here um but with games like this so i guess i'll say it this way anything that has rpg like elements which i guess i mainly just mean games that have a a ascending skill level component where you're increasing you know stats or you're 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 you know you're modifying guns or whatever i'm one of those people that really likes to just go ham in one direction to become like a like you over um what's the word you like over specialize in one uh -huh. zone and mm -hmm. then you kind of start to balance out and so yeah in this game i just feel like you get so many benefits if you take a, a one class further down the line that it just made sense to keep to keep playing him. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I, I had the urge to kind of switch over to a couple different classes, but that's just going to take forever to get to the point I'm trying to get to. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing, too, is that I also factor in the time. Because, like, I might... Because watching you actually play your class, I'm like, that looks pretty fun. Because, like, your class is super mobile, and you got that cool, you know... Um, and the hair. The hair, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but then you just think about, like, oh, i got to start over from scratch, and, and blah, blah, blah. And how long are you going to keep that haircut? as long as I possibly can <laughs> to the right. grave. I knew you were going to love it. Did you? Yeah. How did you know? What what what, what about me? <laughs> the first what, time the first you? time I saw it I'm like I got to keep that cuz he's <laughs> not going to like this. Yeah, this is probably going to be another easy one but Have you did you have you did, ever cuz you didn't when we were hanging out before? Have you grown a beard since we last saw one another? No, I'm not much of a beard lord. I can't. You gotta uh, get into a. You gotta get into the beard land, man. That would be awesome to see you in like a, like a, uh, who's who's got a, or like see you in like one of those like um, man, I can't remember anyone's fucking name. Who's the, who's the cowboy from from um, from um, the Big Lebowski? That actor's name. Um, what the fuck's uh, his name? I remember. For those of you that are listening, shout shout it out. I'll be I'll be able to hear you. He's also in. Have you seen Roadhouse? Yeah. With Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. He's he's like he's like his buddy. He's like older buddy that's got the white hair. He's always got a massive mm -hmm. mustache, which is why I referenced him. You should, not you should grow a massive mustache. Why can't I remember? Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't remember yeah, if he yeah. was in The Big Lebowski. I've only seen that a couple times. But... Yeah, he is. He's like that weird. Uh, I, I mean, and I haven't seen that movie in recent enough time to remember. Like the character always seemed kind of like unreal to me. Like like literally. Like I always thought that he was kind of like a. I don't know, a figment of someone's imagination or like he was like a, a weird a kind of spectral phenomenon. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> I, just, I lost I lost my own my, my own nerve in that thought. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. I got to get this nitro out of this out of this. No. I, I didn't mind that line of thought, but if you want to nix it, nix it. 
Um, I'm just saying, I want to see. I want to see some a goatee or a some. some you haven't some, done it either. You stay baby. Do, I've done. I've done. I'll, I'll send you some photos. So no. they'll, they'll, they'll change the way you see the world. Don't send me any photos. Everyone hates Whoa. when I do the mustache, but it gives me a certain kind of pleasure. I got a friend that does a mustache. Okay. I respect it. Yeah. It's a very antagonistic facial uh, facial hair sort of, you know, choice. It really gets yeah. in everyone's face. <laughs> Where are you? Just go up or down. I went down. Sorry. I you didn't get any of this gold, boy. I can't. I'm too short. I don't have Bosco. Oh, uh, a little Bosco. I love that. I love that little boy. Oh, I guess man. it could be non-binary. Little, little, uh... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let that thought die out. <laughs> yeah, nix that one too, if you would. <laughs> oh, oh nice. bad boys. Uh, Are you a bad boys fan? I am. Uh, the uh, the Will Smith and uh, uh, what's that guy's Martin. name? Martin Lawrence. Lawrence, not Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. I was like, it's not Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, I, I think the, I only ever saw Bad Boys Two. Ah. And I know there's like, what three of them? Uh, yeah, the third one just came out uh, like a year ago. That was way more than a year ago, wasn't it? Huh. Really? I love those a fucking movies. year ago? Jesus, man. Oh, I, I also thought it was funny today. I realized that we're going to be recording through the inauguration. So for those of you... Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, you'll obviously be watching this well after the inauguration, but I think it's, it is... Uh, it is America fitting. could we, very we, well we, be on fire should... right now. Yeah, we should we should call this sort of our our, our inaugural episode. And uh, <laughs> this one's for should, Joe you should, Biden. You should put um, some like an American flag like filter over the whole video. I, w I will. You know I'm gonna do it now too. Do it. Yeah. Make it make it really not even well done. Just like it's like a filter that's <laughs> it's not transparent enough, so it's hard to see what we're actually doing. These videos will ooze with patriotism. I promise <laughs> you that. You're not getting all the nitro that we need, man. It's my job to keep us fully stiked, stiked with nitro. Stiked. <laughs> Having a seizure. Yeah. This is the place to do it. Uh, we got many. Yeah, we got some more. Okay. Got a big boy over here. Oh, got him. Dude, these uh, frost grenades are sick. Froth? Froth. <laughs> these frothy grenades. What did you just get? Handfuls of froth. You, you, you didn't. You, you didn't say that you loved them last time. Are you just? Are you just growing to like them, or are they? No, I upgraded them. Ah, uh, like, nice. I used so to. What, have the... what, what does the upgrade do? Or how did it benefit them? Well, they they used to just do this slow, like that little yeah, AOE yeah. slow, and then the yeah, yeah. these just like straight up freeze everything in the radius for uh, oh, yeah. like five seconds. It's pretty cool. Um, Got a donut. <laughs> Gonna nice. be on you. I can't do that. Uh, I can, yeah, I can. I can. Uh, let's do that. Now, I, uh, I play a lot of games on Steam and on console, for that matter. But I, I think I really genuinely love this game. It's, it's really good. It is. It's so. Um, I think I already, I already said this in a previous episode, but it's, it's very meat and potatoes. Like it, it is. It is simple in the best ways. It's it's very smooth. Like every objective feels simple and like not convoluted. Like yeah, yeah, it's it's a really really, like, it's one of those games where I think it has no misconceptions about what it is, and it only right. tries to be you know what it is, and it, yeah, it nails it. I agree. Where the fuck is Molly? Come here. Where is there's some Something's... big thing? Yeah, I hear nearby. him too. Where's he at? And this is also a, a game too that I feel like the developers like they they do like they add stuff often enough like it, it, it doesn't feel like they've like they just made this thing and like let it out to you know to kind of to dry like they I, I feel like they're still very active in it too. Yeah, I think they just updated it like a week ago with a yeah like I a whole new right. biome. As well. All right, we gotta get out of here. Where did we come like from? Now? We came from up somewhere up there, like somewhere. Oh, thanks. Well, although I'm looking at the map, is there a way to get out from? No, we we really just came into this weird pit here. Okay. I think I guess, this is the uh, way. Which? Where the fuck are you? There's another game on Steam that I was actually going to ask you about. I don't know if you've heard of it, called Volcanoids. That sounds like you're making that up. Yeah. Well, Did you ever play Void Bastards? Uh huh. Yeah. 
Okay. Anyway, I, what, uh, is, what is Voltanoid? <laughs> uh, it's like a crafting. <laughs> I just I heard of... the V, and I, I I just thought of the next game that I could had, I knew had a V in it. What is what is Vulcanite? Vul Vulcan? Uh, Fuck. It look <laughs> looks like a multiplayer <laughs> kind of survival crafting. Uh, oh, okay. Kind of looked like is this. It, is it like bit. sort of like a la like a satisfactory that kind of thing, or is it or is it? Uh, yeah, not... kind of looked like that. Maybe not as okay. uh, complex on the building side, but. Uh, okay. Cool. Looks kind of cool. Well, actually, access. that sounds right up my alley because Satisfactory was awesome, right up, to, right up to the point where I, I had put enough hours in that game where I was like, "This is, this is now a bit. I, I need a bit more IQ points, I think, to really play this game effectively." Yeah. Um, so if it's simpler than Satisfactory, that's that's probably more suited for my uh, for my brain. I don't know. I I could be totally wrong on that though. Um, I got a friend who's I'd... crazy about Factorio, and, and I I like it, but it's like it's just it's so my I I think I've said this also before. My brain just. It's. I, I don't think that it's that it doesn't work that way, but I have to. I have to like. I have to redline it mentally to be able to like make, like smart and effective choices in in those games that require so much planning and forethought. Yeah, yeah. I don't have. I think I've got maybe an hour or two in Factorio, and I really liked it, but uh, that was back maybe two years ago. So I got. I got to go back and see what what they've changed. Yeah. yeah. Big boy. Over. Big oh boy. big boy. Come on. What? My gun wasn't firing. There we go. Another big boy. Almost froze myself again. You can freeze yourself? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have this little the little meter down below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I gotta watch out for that. Uh... Grenade. Which I think missed all of its targets. Come on, buddy. Man, we got quite a number for these guys. Yeah. Stink. I got a cool uh, addition on, on, on my gun right now where if I fire long enough and it starts to, to like overheat, there's actually a, like a, I don't, I don't know, like a, a five fire. to 10 second period of time where the overheating of the gun will cause everything I shoot to catch fire, which is pretty okay. cool. Yeah, I noticed that a second ago. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was doing it. It's cool. Though. Thank you, dude. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we need more donuts. Yeah, yeah, more. grab that. A bonut. Oh, 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 oh. Is this another one too? What is this? Yeah, it's like stuck in the wall. Uh, another big guy. God dang it. Well, we have enough to call a supply drop, so. Yeah, I might need to. I might need to. Hurts. Hang on, it's okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything still alive. Stinks. Lying. I need some hearth. We got some Stinks. more up here, and some health. Oh, nice. There's there's a, a few along the walls. That's nice. <laughs> Where's the health? Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Way out of my. Use your oh yeah, it sucks that you can't you can't like use your grapple and then also mine while you're on the fucking wall. Yeah. Come here, Molly. Do you need a zipper? Uh here, I'll give I'll give you a zipper. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Thank you. Oh you need it too. You need it more than I do. No, that's all right. There's another one right down there. And I'll just fire the guy here. There. And we'll just call a supply drop. Boop. Get him. All right. We gotta get the rest of this more kite. Ow. My Did you, you want me to call the drop? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Supplies are on the way. Use my zip line. Me? Yeah. Oh. I got one over. I got one from from over here. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Oh, we got one of these purple men. Yeah. Excellent. Drops here if you didn't get something yet. Do I have any more? No, I don't. That's fine. That's fine. Woo! 
Let's grab all this nitro. All of it. Masters were behind them. You know, I have a friend, and he probably will not. Well, I'm not going to say his name, so it, I can say whatever I want. Is um, he as handsome as me? <laughs> that sounds a little. When, when I say that out loud, that doesn't sound kind. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he, for a while in his life, and I don't remember the genesis of this story. Um, it would be, I don't know if it's funnier if someone led him to believe this or if he just came to this on his own conclusions, but for a good deal of his, I think his adolescence, he, he was under the impression that Orlando Bloom uh, suffered from like essentially the kind of amnesia that Drew Barrymore has in 50 First States that he essentially was forgetting like everything about his life every day and had to, you know, re-remember how to be an actor, all that shit. And, and he thought he was like the most impressive actor because it's like, wow, look at this guy do all these these Lego loss, but he he doesn't even remember who he is. And I I don't remember at what age they found out that of course that that's you know not, not true, true. <laughs> uh, but it just it's such a weird like the kinds of shit that we at some point you know in our in our teenage years or whatever someone says something and you just like I'm trying to think if there's something that I've had like where like I had a weird erroneous belief that I didn't know was was wrong until like you know an embarrassing age. Yeah. I'm trying to Oops. I don't want to, I don't want to hit Molly. I'm trying to think. I mean, I'll I guess I'll be happy if I can't think of anything, but there's got to be something. There's something, yeah. I'm going to try to get this green guy. Oh, I like there. Orlando Bloom. He should do more. Oh yeah. Stuff. He seems like a top-notch guy. I didn't like that show he did though on Amazon. It's kind of He did a new. show? He did a show. What's it about? Fairies. It's about fairies? Was it True Blood? <laughs> no. Uh, what the hell is it called? Carnival was, Row or something Blood. like that? Hey, did you like Carnival? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Love that show. Didn't I? Yeah, that's I thought you watched that with me years ago. Yeah, that's probably another one of those shows that I only know of because because of you. Yeah, good. No. Credit where credit. Certainly watched that. I mean, it's it's been a few years now, but it's it's like somewhat fresh in my memory, and it's just so awesome. I have and seriously. creepy and weird and yeah, it's good. Got hung up here. What's going on over here? Oh, everyone, back off. Ended Excellent. way too early as well. Yeah, it was another one. That was that one of those over. shows? Was it? Was it? Okay, so it got it got cut. It wasn't planning on ending when it did. No, those bastards. <laughs> what is this? Um, what is what? What'd you find? A cargo crate. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so, so, um, if we wander around nearby, you'll be able to hear like a weird kind of like node, like a like a like a kind of a like a synthy noise. Uh -huh. And if we find two two kind of like nodes that we plug into that thing it'll give us like a i think it usually gives like different um um skins and like shit like different things for your gun and most of it's cosmetic but we should we should look for it it's fun okay but you gotta um, you gotta listen you gotta use your you gotta use your elf ears or your, i guess your dwarf ears we should be honestly I'm, I'm surprised we don't make more like dwarf jokes while we play this game i don't know any good i guess because we're not jokes. we're not fucking derivative <laughs> we're not hacks like most of the other people on the internet <laughs> All right, that's uh, yeah. that is it for this episode, people. Uh, thank oh. you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please uh, comment and tell us why you think this video was so good. Only, only that though. Bye. <laughs>